I am sickeningly addicted to Balatro, so much so that after I bought it for my Switch and it died, I bought it again for the PC and then realized <laughs> I couldn't take my computer in the bathroom, so I bought it on my phone too. It's easily my favorite game of all time, but there's one glaring problem. Wheel of Fortune. Yes, this infamous gotcha card has cost me too many runs than I would like to admit due to me spending my last three dollars on it only to hear that evil pop of nope. But who couldn't pass up a one in four chance? Only is it really one in four? So today I will be cracking 100 Wheel of Fortunes to test if it really is what it says it is, or it was local funk just lying in our faces. So we made it to Anti-7 after a few failures. I've got Blueprint, Hanging Chad, two Polygram Perkios, and a Brainstorm, so I've been able to get at least four Wheel of Fortunes. I've saved up 63. So <laughs> we're like halfway there, or over halfway there. We're gonna crack all these. I don't think I'm gonna make it past the plant. So we gotta sit here and, and crack them. Nope. Oh, we had a hit. I'm now realizing that if we get two more hits, we're not gonna be able to, not, not be able to do them anymore. So I didn't think about that. <laughs> nope. 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 And and hit. Nope. Okay, two hits, two hits. I don't believe it's a one in four chance. I think they're lying, but we'll see. If I get, technically if it's a one in four chance, I, I probably should hit it by the time that we crack 31 more of, of these. It's resetting my one in four chance every time, but it can't be. Oh. Oh, we hit, we have 15 left. Let's see if I can make it past the plant. Who knows? Oh my God, I'm gonna make it. Okay, so we're gonna have to sell something so we can keep, we can keep cracking those. But I don't really, I guess I'll just sell Hanging Chad, which I really don't wanna do. Um, so... Okay, um, let's hope I get something kind of good. Uh. Oh. Mm, maybe, maybe. It's worth a shot. I mean, I can crack 15 more. I might have to just start over, but we'll see. We're on the last ante. So, I mean, anything could happen. We've got actually 19. So that's great. Let's see if we can get through these and see if my luck is... <laughs> my luck is just bad enough. I, I can't tell you that I've ever hit that many Wheel of Fortunes my entire like hundred something hours of playing this game. Um, let's just do it with reroll right here. Nope. I mean, it's feeling more and more like a one in four chance, but I don't know. Oh, oh, and that was the first time we got it. We hit a holographic actually. So I don't know what, I don't know what the chances within the chances are. If editor Julian knows, pop it right here. So we're gonna sell reroll. Let's do driver's license. Okay, let's hit the, what is the luck? Okay, one in four, I guess. Wonderful. I mean, I can't keep license then, which would be really nifty. Uh, let's do showman. Yeah, that'll be fine. Crack the rest of these. And that was like 60, 70 something. So I'm gonna try to collect more. I... All right, we got lucky and we made it to ante 11. I've got 37, but technically I think I cracked 67. So I need 34 and then we'll probably stop there because I want to even 100 um, for scientific purposes. We're doing it in the shop because I don't think I'm going to get much further than this. I got another hanging, hanging Chad. <laughs> um, okay, we got a hit. Do it on Mr. Bones. 
another one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you. I've been playing this game a while. I have never had this good of luck. I cannot believe we got that many hits. That might have, because I had some confidence that it was not going to be a one in four chance. Oh my god, Polychrome. Another one. Here we go. I don't remember how many I've done, and I'm not going to do the math. So we're just going to we're just going to crack all of them, and I'm going to stop counting for the tally whenever we get to the end of them. I'm not, I, uh, uh, another hanging chad. <laughs> nice, oh my God. So here's the thing is we're out of jokers and rerolls. So what do I have, 37 minus cell blueprint. We can hit this again. So I just, I just want to double make sure I have all the numbers because I'm not going to... And there we go. So shaving off that 87 to an even 85 means we hit 15 out of 100. And that 15% hit rate is a little off from our promised 25%. However, buckle in because you're about to learn some statistics. Now, just because there's a one in four chance of success doesn't mean if I do it more than once that the total of the effort sustains those odds. The same way many gambling addicts believe that the odds weigh in their favor the more they do something. No. Your one in four chance resets every time you hit Wheel of Fortune. So what truly are the odds? For my run, if my goal is to score exactly 15 out of 100, I have about a 68% chance. But if 15 is my minimum threshold, that probability shoots up to 99.25%. Now, what about the projected one out of four? Well, if you want to hit exactly 25, your chances are actually 9.56%. If you want to hit a minimum of 25, it's actually 54.78. So I actually had a better chance of hitting a minimum of 25 than hitting a single coin. Now, if we were to raise the ante and I were to crack about 1,000 Wheel of Fortunes, then my success rate is projected to still be around 51.46% of hitting at least 25. Look, we can do this all day, but to truly find out what Balatro's odds are, we would have to look in the code, and I'm not going to do that. Don't make me do that. I'm not going to do that. But I do have some bad news. There's a Steam post by the name of, which I'm not going to pronounce, that reveals Wheel of Fortune and other odds are determined by the seed of the run and not by an RNG roll. Now, I have no way of confirming this, so I did dig a bit deeper, followed up by a Reddit thread where a user by the name of ExperiencedBudget3407 dug in the code to run 12,000 cracks over 12 seeds. And although rates do waver from seed to seed, generally speaking, odds are within the decimal. So you may actually get a run where odds are one in 4.28. And on a rare occasion, seed may glitch and you get something like a one in 32,500 chance who really knows? Something else weird about Wheel of Fortunes are they don't run a single one in four operation. Experienced Budget also found that there is a first step to choose a joker and a second step to then choose the addition upon success. And beyond that, there are percentages of each addition likely to spawn. 12.5% for foil, 8.75 for hollow, 3.75 for polychrome, which all add up to 25%. If you're still here, thank you. That was a lot of numbers and statistics. So. What do we do now? Well, it's going to be hard not to choose Wheel of Fortune in the future, but the odds really are stacked against you. Even with a one in four, you're better off saving the econ or picking another tarot. You might fare well with an oops all sixes, but even then you're flipping a coin. But let me know, should I do more Battletro content? I'm glad I got it out of my system and I'll see you next time.